Former Mayor Rahm Emanuel's nomination to be U.S. Ambassador to Japan was approved by the Senate Foreign Relations Committee today, but two Democrats voted against his appointment. WTTW News reporter Heather Sharon joins us now with more. Heather, those two Democrats are Senators Jeff Merkley of Oregon and Ed Markey of Massachusetts. They join Republicans Ted Cruz and Marco Rubio in voting down this nomination. How come? Well, it wasn't a surprise that Ted Cruz and Marco Rubio voted no. They have presidential aspirations in 2024, so that's not a surprise. But it was a surprise when Oregon Senator Jeff Merkley put out a statement just before the hearing reading, quote, Black Lives Matter. Here in the halls of Congress, it is important that we not just speak and believe these words, but put them into action in the decisions we make, end quote. That is a clear reference to the death of Laquan McDonald at the hands of a Chicago police officer. Merkley was the only member of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee to press Rahm Emanuel on how he handled that 2014 police murder while he was in office. And it was clear that the former mayor just didn't answer those questions to the Oregon senator's satisfaction. Now, I reached out to Senator Markey's office, and he didn't get back to me, but he is also a member of the progressive wing of the Democratic Senate. And certainly there were lobbying efforts uh, on behalf of Rahm Emanuel to get the nomination, lobbying efforts from groups uh, wanting to see him not get that nomination. So what does this all mean when it goes before the full Senate? Well, it means that the former mayor will rely on members of the Republican Senate to push his nomination over the edge if he is successful. Now, five Republican senators have said they support him, so that seems possible right now, but his nomination will not be confirmed with a unanimous vote of all of the Democrats in the United States Senate. And these nominations have been going really slow because of some opposition. Do we know when this confirmation is likely to take place? We don't, and we have Ted Cruz to thank for that. He has put a hold on basically all of President Biden's nominations and State Department nominations, so we will have to wait and see how that process works its way out. All right, Heather, thank you as always, and we'll see you again later in the program for some Spotlight Politics. Thanks again. Thanks, Paris. And you can read Heather's full story on our website. That's at wttw.com news.